So yeah, we're always gonna look, have a little squirt. We like a little squirt, do we, Rach? Does that one look like it's? <laughs> No <laughs> <The> way. <laughs> Loves a squirter. <laughs> I'm going. Where's the squirter? Didn't sign up. <laughs> Didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that on that one. <laughs> ben, Chris, and Rachel at Carbon Guys, and welcome back to another video. A video, MX5 vid today. Oh, MX5, MX5. Sorry, you're not in. Get in. Oh, you mean? You elbowed me in the face. She's Sorry, still very shy. Aren't you? A little She's bit. She's definitely not shy. Anyway. Oh, that's in a whole other so, conversation. So, on today's video, mm. we have had a lovely, a lovely gift sent over from Max Peden Rods, a set of coilovers for Rachel's. MX5. Yeah. For completely free. For completely free. Yeah. For free. It makes sense. For free. That for free. Um, they got hold of us months and months and months ago about sending stuff, but there was nothing to send. The SD1000 oh, really? had everything, didn't they? Already. Yeah. They FN2 didn't really do didn't anything. Do much, nothing for and, it. Uh, they got back again in contact with me and said, Is there anything else we can get you? I said, Actually, we've just got an MX5 on the channel. So they sent these over for us to fit and show you and tell you our thoughts. So we're going to do an installation video. Show you the coilovers, obviously, they're over there. And then, in a few weeks' time, I think we'll do an overview like of how, how they perform, because we need to set them up in that properly, which we're not going to do in this video. This is purely installation. Then we'll set them up another time and take it for a drive. So, Raquel. Hello. Hello. Show them your coilovers. Get your coilovers out. Get your coilovers out. One at them. Oh. We could just do one at a time if you want, babe. <laughs> <laughs> just for the time, it'll be fine. I'll get the little one. <laughs> She's used to that. Rude. Put yourself down, mate. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it is, look. I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to show it. Just show them. Just there, there it is, look. There it is. There it is. It's super heavy. We've got the ones that have got the dampening adjustment on them. So that's there. You just take that little, take that little red bit off the top there. Should just slide off. Here we go. Oh, 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 uh, so there's your the same as the BCs. I'm assuming. So they'll just click left and right. We're not sure how many settings there are. So we'll find that out, and then we'll just go for the middle bit. But there they are. Look, uh, they look nice, don't they? And they're, they're bloody heavy. They're really heavy, aren't they? Bear in mind that they are a budget coilover. So I think they're around 300 quid mark. So they are at the low end of any coilover, but. Why the hell would we not fit them? They've given them to us for nothing. Yeah, it's too right. We'll be completely honest with what we think about them, as we always are. If they're shit, then we will say so. Um, but we're hoping they're not. They're not going to be as good as the BCs because they're a budget okay, coilover. Yeah. But for what you need, yeah, right. I'm hoping they're going to be bloody bob on. As long as they go on all right, the ride is comfy, and we can lower it as much as we need to, then what else do you need? I wouldn't advise them for track or anything like that. No, no, no. Not made for but it. But the car has been lowered already. Uh, yeah. So everything should be pretty easy to work Exactly. Out. We've already done one side, as we always do, just to speed up. So we'll show you one side. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get on with it. Shall we, let's Rach? Do it! Oh, off, yeah. off you go. Fit your coilovers. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm impressed with the quality, to be fair. They're, uh, they're good at least. They're all right. They're, they're bloody heavy. You take that for me. <coughs> Nice colour as well, a little bit there. Yeah. So, what we're going to start with first, front or rear? Front, because the front's normally a bastard. Yeah, the rear actually we did quite easily, didn't we? Me. Right, so, Chrissy Whistle. We've got new drop links in that, but I think we figured a way out of not having to take them off. So, basically, your anti roll bar, ARB. <laughs> is attached there and you need to take that bolt out anyway because it goes up through there to get this out because that is the length of the entire like upper wishbone so you have to slide that bolt right out so you have to take that out anyway so we'll take both of them out i think 
which will then loosen up that, which means we don't have to take it off. So. But we did make a slope move on the other side. Yeah, we didn't release it fully and it's bent the bracket, so we've left it and we're going to try and sort it out when this side's off and push so it all back make up sure together. Make sure you take your brackets off. Yes, but that's how we're going to try it anyway. So you've got the huge bolt that runs all the way through there to take out. You've got one bolt there down at the bottom to take out. And then you've obviously got two there and there to take out. So we're going to get the old, Uncle Fester's going to get the old oil out. Oh, here we go. Uncle Fester! Where the fuck are your head wrinkles? Right. You've got them. Have I? Well, you can't see them, it's so on the back of your head, but you do. Oh, have you? Yeah. You can't see mine. It's well covered. <laughs> see, see, see. So yeah, we're always going to look, give, have a little squirt. We like a little squirt, don't we, Rach? Does that one look like it's... <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Loves a squirter. <laughs> I'm going. Rach has gone, look. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Welcome to CTV, uh, baby. It? Also, we're not going to tell you anything just yet, but we'll, we'll let, we won't tell you what it is, but we've got like a new business coming up soon haven't we we're not going to oh. tell you exactly what it is but stay tuned guys and girls because coming soon it's a whole it's, it's it will go alongside youtube but it's a completely separate business but it will go alongside youtube and with the view to it be a full-time thing for us all so it's very bloody exciting isn't it very exciting. we're in the midst of sorting it all out now aren't we so, almost yeah. to the point of orgasm and it is. A couple of people know that watch the channel that we're close with, so uh, stay tuned, motherfuckers. Right, peeps, we've got the bottom bolt out first. In. Oh, I can't see anything. Hang on, Chrissy. Hey. So the bottom bolt out of there, which is literally this one, just goes through the bottom of the strut. And now we've got a 21. Just film with me. Brilliant. There's a 21 mil socket on that side. And we'll get another one on that side because that is a bolt. It's not attached. So we've broke it with a breaker bar, so cracked it off. And we're gonna try and just stick a knuckle on it. Knuckle! Yeah, there was knuckles. I'll hold a socket on that side, and then we should just be able to gun it off. But you've got to take that off anyway, as I said earlier, because the bolts for that go through. And that bit that we're gonna pull out, we'll show you in a minute, is so long, you can't get it past can't the get bolt. Past that. Yeah. So, um, well, we'll bloody show you, shall we? Right, so you've got a giant washer and a little washer, and then the nut obviously this side and then that side is just the, the entire bolt so Chris if you slide it out try and slide it out you should just pull out and the reason why you take have to take that bolt out is you keep pushing the washer down that way otherwise you won't be able to get it out that's it that keep the washer on the end full of grease yeah which is good and that's why you have to take the uh, bolt out for the ARB A A A R B because uh, it won't go past it, otherwise because it's got massive long. What the fuck is he doing here, look? I'll try and get the fucking thing out, innit? Like. I am, I am! And there he is, look. So look at the size of that bad boy. Look at the fucking... Like. Yeah, size of that. So that goes right the way through your upper control arm. But then with that off, it means that this moves around and you can get the shock out. So now, top, top bolts, I'll we'll just the take them off and we should be able to step on the hub and then it should just flop out like a very rude flopper. <laughs> Got to get rid of this green, haven't we? Yeah. Ooh. There's the paint work. Right? Yeah. It was well on its way before I got involved. Yeah, we were watching the Grand Tour last night. Oh, Chrissy amazing. did his, uh, if you the new watched one. It, so guys, funny. If you haven't watched it. And I was saying to Rach that all the old school Mustangs and that. Plymouths and the <coughs> fucking Dodge, they Which all one? have that style wheel. They do. Don't they? With the round spokes and the chrome lip. Yeah, they do. Look really nice. Which one, though, would you have? The Dodge. Would you? Yeah, I would pick that over the Shelby. I wouldn't have picked the Shelby all oh, day God, long. Mate, I love. I love the Shelby, so. but it needs to be the. Was it, what, that one the GT500? Did the Dodge was, was break it? down though? Yeah, of Hammond. <laughs> Hammond, didn't it? Although, to be fair, the Buick he had, Riviera. Yeah, was that was nice. They were all last, really. I loved all the cars that they had. Anyway, they were wicked. Anyway, back to the job in hand. So I was picking my nose. Picking back out of his cave. Yeah. 
got rates on all reorganizing all these bottom shelf here look because uh i like to park my car up here but there's a fucking because it's higher up as you can see and we get a bit of floodage don't we chrissy we do so i like to park my car up here but our other resident luke has all his tools with us so i'm making him space to put all his tools up there so that i can put the car back up again <laughs> right anyway are they off mm -hmm. they're off off Sweet as a nut. So, if you do the old stand, stand you slide the fucker out. Not sure I'm film it. Right, so you stand on that, and that brings it down, enables you to pull that out. Look oh. at that! Fucking easy, mate. And there she is. So like we say, it was already on lowering springs, but we want the adjustability. And these were very soft lowering springs, weren't they? They were very bouncy. So, we're open. Which one is it? Actually, the longer uh, the longer one for the front, mate, yeah, I believe. So it should be as simple as just slotting that back in. Take them off first this time. Reverse the process, yeah. So the way we do it, what the fuck, an absolute tramp. So we get them in loose, we get the top of the strut in first, put the bolts on loosely, and then I would suggest putting that arm back in next just to get it out of the way and then it enables you to line all this up better so we need to now get the massive doofer back in. Spin around. It needs to come out that way mate. Pull that one up that way and then back up there. That's it. There we and go. We use, a, we use a small jack, yeah. Put it on the hub bit mate so it's not just fucked up the... Uh... Hang on, hang on. Take it down. The only reason being it's got one of them stone guards on the I back. I can't do it, it. I'll throw that there a sec. Let's undo the jack. It makes this fucking strip, stone chip guard touch the disc. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Huh? Yeah. Right, so yeah, we, took a, we stick a jack yeah. underneath like that just to take the weight of it. Which is a lot easier as well you if you're on your own, obviously. Did you want to grab the copper slip for this one? Yeah, we'll do that one last. We'll do the big one first. Which is all greased up anyway. And I'll slide E back in. That's it. Nice. So it goes in behind there, and then you put your washer on afterwards, because you won't be able to get through the little hole otherwise. And then it's just a case of lining it up and sliding it in and out of Bit of wiggling needed. So we can probably take this tension off, haven't we? No. Needs a bit more on it, mate. Needs a bit more. That's it. It's very stiff. It's not so much stiff, it's because there's so much grease on it. Oh, right, you can't. That's it. And there we go, look. So it comes out that side, into that side. And then we put these back on, tighten that one up, which we'll do. And then we put the bottom one in, anti roll well back on, and doing it this way, you don't have to take any drop links off. Very good. Which is bloody handsome. Right, front's on. That's relatively easy. And doing that with the, the anti roll bar means you don't have to take the front drop links off, which is win win. We bought them just in case we did, but you know what they're like, they never come off. so. The fronts are on, very, very easy. Rachel's, what did we say? We said 25 clicks all together. So what Rachel's done is, she's gone all the way to soft and then clicked in how many? 12. 12, which is Both. halfway. And then we'll see what it drives like. We're gonna have to still set up the ride height in that because it's gonna be looking like a bloody tractor, I think. So do you want to go in the boot and do the same on that one? And then we'll start doing the rear shock. So, in the rear is quite similar, it's, it's easier actually, the rear, to do than the front. Right, so, on the rear, slightly different, but easier, because you haven't got the big bolt that goes right the way through there, and you don't have to take them off. So, in the boot, you got a torch or something? Yeah. So in the boot, it's just, was, is it even on? Mm. Right in there. 
The wrenches was pretty stripped already, but you have to take this off. Uh, oh, we've got to take that off as well, this one. So you've got to take the carpet out, basically. Which is going to take all that fucking out again. Take the carpet out. Then we have to take this panel out, which I guess is just a heat shield because the fuel line's there. The fuel filler's there, so you've got a bolt there, bolt there, and a bolt there. Take them three out, and then that enables you to get to the strut on that side, basically. So you can do that, Rich, if you want. I'll Take the heat shield off. So mm -hmm. you've got one, two, three bolts, which I would imagine are a 10 or a 12. Get the shield off, and then we can get to the top strut, the top of strut, touch strut. We didn't have to do that on the other side, obviously, because there's no fuel tank there. Just that one on it. Uh, the one down there. And I undone... Oh, I've already done it. That. Which I've already taken off. Right. Which screws into somewhere up there. Uh, the bit, how did you get to the I've other left, side? I've left the other one off. All oh, right. How did you get to the other side of that? Underneath? What do you mean? There is no other side. That's that. Oh, I don't know what you mean. This one. Uh, it's not in there, mate. It's there. That's it. It's oh, the, it, the it goes in, it, oh, the thread's yeah. in there. Yeah, I yeah. see. I thought it was in there. Yeah, no, there's no there. So basically, on this side, side, you've got, yeah, I think it's a, I can't remember what size, I'll find out in a minute, Taylor. You've just got your bolt there, and the thread is on the other side, so there is no nut and bolt, if you see what I mean. So you just take that off, and what we did was, right, so you've got. A rear anti-roll bar there with the threads on there so what we've done is we've taken that off we haven't put the other side on yet either because what that does is makes that loose enough that see, so you don't have to take that drop link off which is just saves grinding them off because you you can never get that undone there with the allen key bit so that's loose which enables us to be able to put pressure on the hub enough to be able to pop it out basically you will be absolutely amazed now. Ben is actually doing something. Not Piss off, mate. Well, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We've nearly had two sides done by the time you've done Raquel is on the go look. She's Raquel's on the wrench. She's on the old wrenches. Wrenches? Don't feel I'm winging it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> winging it. We always wing it, mate. So worry. That's all we do. Oh, right, so get your jack. And what you want to do is just take the tension off of because obviously when it's jacked up your wheels are sagging or your hubs yeah. are sagging. Um, what size did we say that was? Uh, I think it's a 17 mate. It's a 17 eh? I've got a 19. And a 17. And I've got a 17. So let's have a bloody look. And then we should. Mate do you want the other socket, the bloody actual squared socket? Because they're shite, those ones. I did have a black one over here, somewhere. Well, that's cool. I don't think you've got one, mate, have you? Yeah. I've got a 19 there. Yeah, the, the 17's out, mate, the black one. It's not. I haven't used it. There's a 14 black one out, there's no 17 out. I don't think we've got a 17 black one. We did have. We did have, exactly. So. Okay, then. We haven't. So, proper impact sockets, best. They are. Let's look at them. Oh, these full. Right. You've got to adjust the speed on there, mate. Oh, yeah. That's it. Up to Obviously, if you haven't got a gun, just use a, a breaker bar, but... There she goes, look. A gun makes it a lot easier. So that's the bottom. Out, and as we said, there's no nut on the other side. It's obviously a welded thread on the other side. Yeah. So we'll leave that as it is, jacked up. Wait for Rachel to get the heat shield off. And then the we top, can drop it out. Put some weight on there. Yeah. And then it was so funny earlier. Well, hopefully you should get enough when you just drop when you just drop on the jack. Yeah. Well, we started. She's done it. Get on, Rach. Look at this, there, eh? She's all over it. Oh, I say, major. You've got a bloody black handprint on your arse. <laughs> <right now. laughs> you haven't. 
Sorry to see your ass cheek. Oh, oh, we're very dark and gloomy in here. All right, so, where the fr what? Oh, there's more stuff that we've been finding. Every time we take someone out off of this car, we find other things. We've got a phone mount now, Rach. Earlier on, it was some sneaker cleaner. And a receipt and a tissue. Right, there we are. Look. Oh, and a lighter. Oh, and a silicone hose there. And a lighter. There's a silicone hose there, mate. Where? There, look. In the old there, look. Yep. A nozzle. Oh, yeah. A hose. Handy there. What am I talking about? Oh, that's what I was looking for a hose. A bloody though. nozzle. Oh, my God. Right, so they. Oh, we'll keep the nozzle because they're handy there. Yeah. Right, so there it is. Look. So you've got to take that adhesive off for that reason. And there's your bloody fucking top of your strut all the way up there. Just like my ST1000, funnily enough. Remember? Brilliant. <laughs> the movement in the beard hasn't done that. Does it blow? Oh. Right, hold that then. So yeah, undo them and then we'll come back to you and uh, show you going? how we get it out. We've got it out. Piece of piss, right, just got to film it, sorry. So what we do is, undo the top ones, undo the bottom ones as we showed. Then you put your weight on the hub, push it down, pop the bottom out first and then the top will just slide out. <coughs> Easy as that. Nuts. I got them in my hand, boy. So now we reverse the process. We reverse the process. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see your tits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, these are shorter, obviously, as well, so they're a lot easier to get back in. The way around the thing is that way, so it's side of it. Can you get it in yourself, or do you need me to stand on it? Uh, be fine. Yeah. You in? Yeah. That's it, there. Okay, okay. Not easy to get back in because they're shorter than the original ones. Obs. That's one. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll fight then. Another one. Alright, they're on, mate. They're on? Right, so. And once you've got them on, it will hold it in place, obviously. Hit the light so you can all see what we're doing. Just no. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> You're gonna hate this. <laughs> I am. Um, I'll come to edit this video if you like. Oh, Jesus. Right. So, let me get this bad boy here. So, you're gonna want the jack back underneath so, it? So, yeah, if you get in here, right, at the bottom of the shot, you've got to line that up with that in through there. So, you put your jack underneath the swing arm. Yeah, and it will raise it up just enough to get that through the hole. It needs to go up quite a bit. Stop. That's it, he's in. And then do him up. Is that something? Should be. And that is it. And all we've got left to do is, all we've done is, we we aren't going to be doing the ride height as we said at the beginning, but I've just obviously set them all the same. Well, I'll show you on this one actually how we do that. You keep moving. Well, I've got to move. So as we showed you on the ST1000 DCs, I've just been measuring in there and there. How can I be And we need to just go up on this one by like one millimetre. So the bottom collar is purely just a lock ring to keep your ride height set basically. And your top one is, will spin the whole oh God, wrong one. Let's tighten it up first. Um, if you spin all of that, I think that way. Not sure. Actually, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Should be going that way. Yeah. 
I hate these bloody spanners. It's so fiddly. And then the whole shock basically turns to raise and lower it, but we don't know how it's gonna sit. And you just tighten that one back up, give it another measure. Where did I bloody get this way? Right? Mm -hmm. right, they're all on, the wheels are back on, and it looks like a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But we haven't got time to fanny around, we've got stuff to do. Because it's somebody's birthday. I don't know who it could be. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that bad, was it, fitting them? No. It wasn't too bad at all, no, to be good. honest. But as you can see, yeah, they're uh, just sitting very high very compared to what she was, anyway. Look at that, look. bloody hell. But we'll sort it out, we'll lower it, have a play around with the dampenings on it to stiffen it up in that. But to be yeah. Fair, the only pain in the ass bit was that anti robot. Yeah, because we did it Bracket. stupidly and didn't take it all off. Yeah. yeah she, she's sitting bloody high. But yeah, there we go. That's pretty straightforward morning really, wasn't it? It was though. It was. So we fit in them perfect fitment obviously and they seemed really good quality but we're obviously going to reserve judgment on how well they ride until we actually drive it well, we're going to drive it now so uh, i think it's going to be quite bouncy yeah and uh the only thing that annoyed me slightly is you get no info with them at all no, no with like what's rear what's <coughs> front uh how many clicks there are of adjustment where you adjust it, we know how to do it, but if you didn't, then you just wouldn't know. You would have so yeah, there's, right. there's nothing to tell you how to do it, which is slightly annoying. And I'm assuming that all the way to the right is hard, and all the way to the uh, left is yeah, soft. Yeah, I would have thought so. I would think, but it might not be, we don't know, do we? So, yeah. But anyway. Time will tell. Time will bloody ruddy tell. But so thanks to Max Peel and Rods. Yes, thank you very I'll much. a direct link in the description, obvs where you can go and get them because they sent them to us for absolutely nothing to uh, fit and review on the channel which is amazing amazing so, thank you very much thank you very, thank very, you. very bloody much kushti very kushti there we go another one in the bag for you yeah. lovely people like i said we we're going to do a uh, another video on actually how they perform and stuff which is what people are going to want to see honestly and it's not marked for a change <laughs> yeah it sounded like it <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks thank you to the you usuals. Wrong. Thank you to Danny Dana Days Tactical Racing. Always. Get all your discount codes in the bit afterwards. We've got a new intro coming soon as well. It won't be on oh, this yeah, one. Oh yeah, that's we're, exciting. We're finalising a few things. That looks really good. That looks um, really good. Which is good, and we've got more exciting things coming, but we can't even let you in on that yet until no. we finalise a few bits and bobs. But it is happening. It's going to be amazing. You're going to fucking love it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's a good place to end the video. Thank you all for watching. Oh, thank you to all the new subscribers. Oh yeah, we've, we've got been bloody gaining loads. At quite a good pace at the we've minute. We've smashed in over the last two or three weeks. Well over, over two hundred. Well over two hundred yeah, subscribers in the last couple of weeks, which is rage. amazing. And it's rage. Well, so. You'll start losing them soon. <laughs> And there on that bomb Positivity. <laughs> we love you all though. See, and you, we'll on see you on the next video. Peace out. Peace out. Bye bye. bye.